it's been a while since we sat down and had a little bit of a discussion, a more lengthy discussion, but I want to introduce kind of a proprietary, unique um, system of stylistic analysis or categorization for this channel, the fights and science archetypes. I've been talking about them for the past few videos, but I got a few listed out and I'm going to talk about them, give some examples, give some descriptions. So I'll start with wild card warriors. Basically unpredictable, explosive, always dangerous, can beat any other archetype on any given day. And then the one thing I got to describe is the, the idea of hybrids because a lot of fighters, if not most, are going to be a blend between different archetypes, which we'll talk more about that. But like compatibility, like, so what is it easy for this to hybrid with? Well, since they're wildcard warriors, they can kind of mix and match with, with any of the other ar archetypes, but they probably mix well with a gritty tactical brawler. We'll talk more about that. Uh, athletic adaptive Tasmanian devil. These names are a little bit wild, but it's, I like it. So it is what it is. Uh, and uh, here's some examples. Sometimes Crawford is kind of a wild card warrior. Wild, there is sometimes a, a wild card war, warrior. And Ganu is a great example. You don't know what to expect from him. He might just slam you on the ground or he might hit you with an uppercut. You don't know. Uh, Yuri Prohaska, the perfect example of a wild card warrior. Tony Ferguson, Yoel Romero, Drakus Duplessis, sometimes Marvin Hagler, Michael Chandler, all good examples of a wild card warrior, at least at times. Some of the, the, one, the ones where I say sometimes, that means sometimes. I don't know why I think I have to explain that. All right, one shot snipers. What do you know? The perfect example on the screen, uh, Alex Pereira. Specialties, greatest, they, they arguably have the greatest power, great, great accuracy, low output and lower stamina. They set traps. They're usually very explosive, really good IQ. Uh, and they're highly compatible with the calm counter puncher archetype. Uh, examples, Wilder, Alex Pereira, uh, Tommy Hearns, Tank Davis, a prime Izzy, whenever Izzy's not fighting, whenever Izzy's fighting for the belt and not defending it, that, that version of Izzy, Conor McGregor, Crawford, Eno Uwe, so on and so forth. And then kind of opposite to that, but on the same side, on the same coin, opposite side of the coin, uh, pinpoint pick apart snipers or pick apart snipers. Uh, very high IQ, some of the highest IQ and a perfect example is Floyd on the screen. Uh, good stamina on the level of uh, some of the hunters, but not high output hunter. Uh, great accuracy. I'll explain that later. Great accuracy, solid footwork and elusivity. Corey Sanhagen back to back uh, with Floyd Mayweather, both examples of great uh, pick apart snipers. And they're also compa compatible with counter punchers. The snipers are really good uh, hybrids with counter punchers because they're fighting at range and they're setting traps and they have great IQ. So it works well together with that. Uh, some examples of uh, pick apart snipers, Devin Haney, Floyd Mayweather, Corey Sanhagen, Leon Edwards, Shakur Stevenson, Muhammad Ali a little bit, uh, Sanchai a little bit. So we got some kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA and boxing examples. Uh, not a lot of kickboxing examples, but still. Heavy handed hunter. This is the one I've already discussed at length. Good chin, great power, good timing. Pressure fighter. Hunters are pressure fighters trying to come forward, close the distance. Snipers are range fighters trying to stay outside, trying to be elusive. Um, and heavy handed hunters are compatible with gritty tactical brawlers and Tasmanian devils. The Tasmanian devil is the weirdest one and has a weird name, but it'll make more sense when we get there. Uh, examples of heavy handed hunters, Ilya Taporia, Julio Cesar Chavez, better be a triple G who's kind of a hybrid and so is better be a kind of a hybrid, um, volume hunter or high, high output hunter is what I call it. Very similar to the hunter, except for they probably have the best stamina. You got the Max Holloway's, Tony Ferguson's, Nate Diaz's, um, David Benavidez, Subra, Subra Matias, Errol Spence, stuff like that. Sean Strickland overwhelming pressure, the best stamina, some, usually the best chin. So that, those are some of the specialties and examples. Oh, and it's also compatible with the gritty tactical brawler and Tasmanian devil. The hunter classes and there's hybrid hunter, which is a combination of both. Like Triple G is a good hybrid hunter, heavier hands, but also throws a lot of punches. Same thing with, with better BF. Um, but the hunters are easily compatible with the gritty tactical brawler and the Tasmanian devil. And I'm gonna have like the, the names up on the screen so you can follow along. 
uh and then yeah i talk about the hybrid hunter but i'll ignore it. a good example of a hybrid hunter somebody who is pressure coming forward but throwing a lot of punches but also sitting down on their punches Piotr Jan, who i was talking about in the previous video and then we got the adaptive athletics can also beat any other archetype on a given day similar to the wild card warriors they are the most dynamic highly explosive probably the highest iq uh, and they easily hybrid over into other archetypes uh and so since their compatibility is just everything you got tom aspinall john jones terrence crawford floyd is a, is a great example he he's uh he he can he falls into so many categories but we'll talk more about that later floyd uh, cedric dumbe sometimes cyril gone sometimes kamaru usman uh sometimes anderson silva uh ino uwe roy jones roy jones terence crawford uh john jones all great examples of adaptive athletes uh, that's what i said not athletics but adaptive athletes now tasmanian devil what do you know one of the perfect examples on the screen mike tyson Tasmanian Devil is about speed and footwork. So hand speed and foot speed and just basically almost teleport into places where you don't expect. Sometimes if you watch like a Mike Tyson or a Lomachenko, you'll see their opponents like be looking here and then all of a sudden they, Mike Tyson or Lomachenko is over to their side. And so some examples, Mike Tyson, who's also a hybrid with like a hunter pressure fighter, uh, Sean Porter, Lomachenko, uh, Manny Pacquiao, Usyk, sometimes Marvin Hagler, Alexander Volkanovsky, uh, kind of Rafael Fazeev, and they're just uh, uh, the greatest speed. The Tasmanian Devil has the greatest speed out of the archetypes. Crazy footwork, unpredictable, very dynamic, and usually smaller for their weight class. If you notice all those names, Sean Porter kind of smaller, Mike Tyson smaller, Lomachenko smaller, Usyk smaller, Manny Pacquiao smaller, Alexander Volkanovsky kind of smaller. So yeah, uh, and they're compatible with gritty tactical brawlers, wild card warrior, and uh, hunters. Uh, gritty tactical brawler. Uh, unbreakable will and heart. That's the specialties there crafty yet brutal and i think probably the most entertaining because when i name some of the names it's gonna make sense they're compatible with the hunters and they're compatible with tasmanian devils some examples evander holyfield the perfect example in fact i got this class from someone who's in the comment section and I, I don't remember your name but uh remind me of your name in the comment section the gritty tactical brawler someone like evander holyfield or marvin Hagler, sometimes a joe frazier or roberto duran a sean porter also fits as well um justin gaethje dustin poirier buakow uh rafael fazeev michael chandler uh, but I would say that I did a little clarification. Michael Chandler, I would say, is an example of a gritty brawler. He's not too tactical, but still. Uh, final one, calm counter puncher. Specialties, timing, traps, IQ, reflexes. Also one of the smartest uh, out of the archetypes and the best reflexes because you got to have great reflexes to be a counter puncher or you got to have great timing. But normally they have both and they're highly compatible with adaptive athletes and one shot snipers example right there one shot sniper uh or it was technically multiple shots but you get it sometimes floyd well i say sometimes floyd is one of the greatest counter punchers of all time so he's a great example terence crawford another great calm counter puncher canelo it and more in his prime not necessarily right now izzy a, a great example sometimes cyril gone anderson silva a great example james tony jose aldo and then I'll just talk more about hybrids. So the reason why I mentioned the compatibilities is because some classes are going to easily blend into others. Like a one shot sniper or, or sniper in general is easily going to be a counter puncher. Someone who's like Mike Tyson, that's constantly, you know, shifting with his feet is going to easily bleed over into being a pressure fighter or a hunter. And yeah, I think for right now, because I, I, gave y'all a lot i think for right now i'm just gonna let this sit let y'all digest it let me know your thoughts let me know some possible archetypes that i may be missing let me know some fighters that you think should be mentioned in some of those archetype lists and i think we'll keep it brief for for right now uh, like subscribe tell me your thoughts put on the notifications all of that 
See you later, fight scientist. Immortality serum out.